What is up everybody? If you've been following my videos, I bought this bike brand new about a year and a half ago and got super busy and didn't really ride it, but built it. Well, I've been riding it and here's an update. So I actually ended up breaking the bottom fork tube. So I had to buy a new one. Uh, factory Yamaha. Went ahead and put race tech springs in it, valved up for my weight. And then added a bulletproof design discard with also the bottom skid. Moving on. Enduro engineering for this side. Fork skid. For the bars, I was running uh, the stock for a while. Then I had a riser set up, I think a half inch. And then I went to a CR high. I'm 6'2", so I like a higher bar. And then I was at my local shop where I bought this bike and discovered the Pastrana freestyle bend. So I bought those, of course, Joe and Tabby bars, threw those on there and that eliminated my risers. The risers were cool, but they would twist anytime I took a hard fall. So with that being said, they, they actually sucked with the factory risers on there and getting a good amount of lift on the bars. I think that'll be perfect. Um, let's see what else I've changed. IMS 3.2 gallon tank, did a power valve mod on it. Went ahead and removed the one shim closest to the spring. Um, I made these for the air box. This is hydro turf for a jet ski. Made some templates out of paper. Cut them out, put them on there. These have about 10 hours on them. They're holding up good, super worn too. So you can tell that I actually am using those. The car stock key in is jetted now. They're running a 48 pilot and 175 main third clip on the needle. And that's perfect for sea level where I'm riding. Repacked the stock FMF because it was running super rich before. Silicone it up, dented it. Bike has been ridden pretty good now. Um, 18 inch rear. This is not an X. 18 rear running P3 discard, P3 pipe guard. Enduro engineering radiator braces. I did order a Myler radiator cap. I was boiling over a lot the other day out in the hills. Um, hydro turf on the airbox here. And then you have your Cycra. And then I added uh, Molecule Motorsports linkage guard to that. So fully skidded up underneath now. 13 counter, 51 rear. And that's really it. And I've ridden it a lot now. Not a lot, but there's your current hours, 17.9. And then also sprung the rear as well for my weight. So I've kind of been messing with uh, suspension clickers and making up my own wood setting. Um, got it set about 17 clicks out, eight rebound on the front. And on the rear, I think I'm 12 out on compression, maybe four in on rebound and one and a quarter turns out on the high speed. Primary gear. Getting a lot of abuse. Probably going to go to a TNM Design Works. Um, fast way. So the fast ways are cool, but they will, boom, they hit your, that's actually like your air box back there. So I added, it started wearing a hole, so I added some hydro turf to hopefully try to prevent that. Stock seat, seat concepts isn't making anything yet. Um, but yeah, so far I'm happy with the bars that Pastrana bend. These are super high. And they're 30 inches wide versus 31 and a half, like your CR highs and stuff. So they're a little bit narrower for the trees and stuff. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, the bike has been actually ridden. I was doing reviews before with just kind of building it on the stand. Uh, bike is ridden now. And um, I put about the last 10 hours on it within the last two weeks. So there you go. My secret weapon, Gas Gas 250. It's my trainer. But yeah, I'm uh, 
I wouldn't say it's better than a 300. I went riding with some 300 guys, and these bikes are just tractors, man. They're awesome. But the 250 held its own. So the E-Start would be great, though, definitely. And um, not running any kind of clutch uh, upgrades at all, stock. No recluse here. So we're actually clutching it, running Yamalube 20, 2050, I think it is. And I beat the crap out of the clutch the other day, probably for a six-hour ride. Very, like, silty, dry, lots of hills. And it did well. The Shinko is holding up really good, too. This has about 10 hours on it, rocks and everything. It's got about one more ride on her. Super gummy, though. Yeah, this is my uh, 22 YZ250 trail bike review. Thanks for watching, guys.